Hey everyone, what you're looking at in front of you right here is my entire collection of Christmas movies on Blu-ray and DVD. And as you can see, uh, after taking them off the shelf, um, I realized I really have a lot of them. Um, I guess I never re you know, realized it because I only watch a few of these once every year. So yeah, I guess definitely I'm a hoarder, but uh, at the same time, I, I, I really enjoy having all of these different Christmas films, uh, a lot of them, you know, I, I've enjoyed watching as a kid or just, you know, recently seen and got an interest in. And it's nice to have them all available, you know, for whichever one I want to watch at the time. So definitely enjoy my Christmas movie collection. And I'm going to uh, share with you guys my entire collection. I'm not going to show you like all of the individual discs in these. That would just take way too long. Um, I'll just kind of show the outside artwork, I guess, a little bit. Um, but we'll start off with the Blu-rays and end on the DVDs. And the first one here we have is the Santa Claus Collection. Um, I enjoy all of these films to some extent. Definitely the first one is the classic. Um, that is my absolute favorite of the three. And Santa Claus 2 is a, you know, a decent sequel. Santa Claus 3 I don't care so much for, but uh, I, feel, I still think it's, you know, at least good enough anyways. Uh, so here's the front of this box here. Nice embossed, and then it has the uh, three individual DVDs as they were released individually. I'm pretty sure um, they're pretty much the same. Uh, and then here's the back. So there's the Santa Claus Blu-ray collection. They also have this on DVD. Um, we'll set that to the side. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this here. I have so many. Uh, the next one is Mickey's Christmas Carol on Blu-ray, collector's edition, or anniversary. 30th anniversary edition with the DVD and digital copy. Nice embossed slipcover. Here's a look at the back. So that's a good one as well, except I don't really like how they kind of uh, made this into widescreen. I believe it was originally in full screen, but I guess I'm not really a film expert, but it seemed like they stretched it into widescreen, uh, or cropped it into widescreen, I should say. But anyways, um, it does look good though, I will say that for the most part. Uh, the next one, this is uh, this is definitely one of, definitely one of my favorites in the uh, Christmas collection. Miss Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Twice Upon a Christmas. Uh, Once Upon a Christmas is just a classic with all you know the three films starring Goofy and then uh, Donald and then Mickey at the end. Absolutely love that one. And then Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas was a CGI kind of sequel with you know the same idea and. Uh, Man, they really did a good job on that one too. Like all of it, you know, all new stories, and it it, it kind of had the same feel as the first one. It, it's it's really hard to make a sequel that's as good as the first. But Twice Upon a Christmas, in my opinion, was pretty darn close. I thought they did a really good job with it. So, and it's really cool to have them both in this collection here. Um, definitely love this release. So, Mickey's Once and Twice Upon a Christmas. Uh, the next one is one that I don't watch too often, but I do enjoy this anyways. Winnie the Pooh, A Very Merry Pooh Year, The Gift of Friendship Edition on Blu-ray. And this one um, is kind of a Christmas slash New Year's one. It has the, uh, uh, there's a there's a Winnie the Pooh Christmas special that it has on here that's I think like 22 minutes long or whatever. And that's included in here. And then the remainder of the film kind of focuses on New Year's. So uh, this is kind of a cool one to watch. I don't watch it every year, but um, I do like having it nonetheless. Um, next one, uh, uh, going through all the Disney ones here, Prep and Landing and uh, Prep and Landing, Naughty vs. Nice, the Totally Tinsel Collection. Uh, I've only watched it once. Um, I, I, do, I do like the first Prep and Landing. I can't remember, if, uh, you know, I can't even remember if I saw the second one or not. Um, as you guys will see, there are a lot of these that I buy and just, you know, I haven't had time to watch them. But I like collecting Christmas movies, what can I say? So I uh, hope to get around to watching all of, the, all of them that I have uh, eventually. But anyway, we'll take a look at the spine here and then the back. So nice looking slipcover with this one. And again, um, you know, pretty cool film for the most part. Not not one of my favorites, but it's cool to have it in the collection anyways. Uh, the next one we got, uh, the last of my Disney Blu-rays for Christmas titles is uh, The Jim Carrey, A Christmas Carol. I've seen this one once and I did enjoy it quite a bit. I thought they did a pretty good job on this one. It's got the lenticular slipcover as it is the 3D version, of course. 
Um, there's the spine and then the back. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next one that I have is the uh, Peanuts Deluxe Holiday Collection. And you can see right here, it's got the nice embossed slip cover and everything. This is the older um, release of this that has the thicker box style and individual cases for each of the movies. Uh, so there's, you know, the Great Pumpkin, uh, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, and then of course the star of the show for this video, of course, a Charlie Brown Christmas. And um, yeah, I, I decided not to upgrade to the um, more recent release um, that has the, you know, it's it's in, in one slim case rather than having one case for each movie. The reason why is I just kind of like the artwork on these individual releases, so I, I, I haven't decided to upgrade. I did buy a new copy this year, but I kind of have it in the package, and I've just, uh, I'm just kind of thinking about it, I guess. Kind of weird, I know, but anyways. Oh uh, yeah, anyways, the deluxe holiday collection from Peanuts on Blu-ray, so. Um, and then the next one is the all-time classics. Um, the original Christmas classics, anniversary, collector's edition with Rudolph, Santa Claus is coming to town, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and there are actually a few other uh, ones in here as well, so Rudolph, Frosty, Santa Claus is coming to town, and it also has a little, little drummer boy, Cricket on the Hearth, Hearth, whatever, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol and Frosty Returns, um, so there those are, and you know what I forgot? I made that uh, uh, Christmas Carol video where I showed off all my uh, copies of A Christmas Carol that I have. This is one that I forgot, so that makes number nine. I have nine different versions of A Christmas Carol, so yeah, definitely a lot. Um, but yeah, this is this is an awesome uh, Blu-ray collection. This came out a couple years ago, and they had a different version before this. But this is the this is the one to get. It's got a really nice really nice artwork on here, and it has the seven uh, stories inside it. The other one just had the four. It didn't have these three titles right here. So this is definitely the set to get if you want these on Blu-ray. Uh, highly recommend this one, and you can get it for pretty cheap too at at most stores. So. Definitely really like this one. Um, so I'll move these ones off to the side here. And then we got another pile of Blu-rays. Uh, the Year Without a Santa Claus. I just got this one uh, this year, so I haven't had a chance to watch it. But uh, nice embossed slipcover and everything. There it is. So there's that one. And then the next one is the 50th Anniversary Deluxe Edition of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The animated one with the... Uh, embossed slipcover, but uh, if you look at the actual disc, uh, it's the same as the older release. It's not really any different. They just put a new slipcover and made it seem like it's something new so that they can grab more money, and they got it for me because the slipcover looks really nice. So, uh, But anyways, yeah, there it is. Uh, the next one is the Jim Car Carrey version of The Grinch. How oh, the Grinch Stole Christmas, and I really enjoy this movie quite a bit. This is the Grinchmas edition, the most recent one that came out. Uh, newly remastered, that's why I upgraded to it. There's the spine and then the back. And the next one, another one of my favorites, the Polar Express in 3D. I usually just watch it in 2D, but this has both versions in it uh, on this lenticu uh, lenticular slipcover. Um, this is a really, really cool release. Definitely enjoy the Polar Express. So there's the back of that one. Definitely a good classic. And then the next one I got here is, it's a Spongebob Christmas on Blu-ray. And this one I kind of enjoy, but not a lot. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's just one that I wanted to have in my collection. But I don't care too much for some of the newer Spongebob episodes. So, um, I don't know. I think I watched it and I, I thought it was okay, but not like super great. Uh, the kind of cool thing about this disc is it does include uh, the bonus episodes on Blu-ray. They're not, I don't think they're in Blu-ray quality. They, it's, it seems like it's an exact rip of the DVD copy of, um, what is it, Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies or something like that. So kind of cool to have those bonus episodes on here anyways. Uh, the next one is a title that is now pretty rare. It is out of print, at least on Blu-ray, though you can get these individually on DVD. 
Uh, it comes with Merry Madagascar, Shrek the Halls, and Dragon's Gift of the Night Fury. Um, this is a pretty cool collection from DreamWorks, and I, it's a shame that they discontinued this because it's just nice to get these all in one collection, but they discontinued it because I think they realized, oh, we can release these all individually on DVD and uh, release them for like 10 bucks a piece as, a, as opposed to just $20 for this one so we can get more money out of people. That is what I think they did. That's just my hypothesis. I don't know for sure. But nevertheless, this title is now out of print, very unfortunately. But since I have a copy, I don't care. So uh, the next one is Home Alone, the 25th anniversary edition. And I don't care too much for this uh, artwork on this one. I think it's so pl pretty plain with the green background. Um, I do have the copy that I bought at Best Buy with the steel book and everything, which does look better. I'm just debating on keeping it or not still because... It's just, it seems kind of like a money, you know, a waste of money just to upgrade for the style of, you know, for the case and the artwork. I might keep it, I might not, but for now this is the one I have in my collection. Um, but the back looks a little bit more Christmassy anyways. So, but definitely Home Alone 1 is a classic, and I also have Home Alone 2 in this uh, four-pack collection here, the Christmas collection. I was really lucky... A few years ago, Amazon was selling this for like $12.99, a ridiculously cheap price for these four titles. I couldn't believe it, and of course I could not pass that up. Um, but yeah, there is the box for this, and if and the deep and the Blu-rays in here are, I think they're pretty much exactly as they would be if you bought them individually. But it comes with Home Alone 2, Jingle All the Way, Miracle on 34th Street, and A Christmas Carol. I enjoy all of these movies. They're all quite good. Home Alone 2 is probably my favorite of the bunch, but I enjoy all these. Definitely definitely really cool Christmas classics. Moving along, we got It's a Wonderful Life. So a few older titles. I've only seen this one once, but uh, pretty cool uh, Christmas movie anyways. Um, but being this is you know a pretty old title, it's kind of before my time. Just wanted to have it in my collection, but it's one that I'll only watch every other year or so. Uh, maybe not even that. And the same goes with this older version of Miracle on 34th Street, or should I say the original version. Most people, I think, would prefer this over that, uh, you know, I think it was a 90s remake or whatever. Um, but I kind of like, I don't know, I, kinda, I, I like this one too, but I like the new one also. So, I don't know. But anyways, I have this 60, 65th anniversary of... Miracle on 34th Street, and then the next one, another classic. A lot of these are just really good classics, and I like them a lot, all these Christmas titles. This one is Elf with Will Ferrell. This is just the very standard Blu-ray release, but there it is. It's got all you know good special features and everything. Bare bones, but it has the movie, and that's all you need for the most part. So uh, the next one is A Christmas Story. Same deal here, nothing, you know... No frills and thrills with this one, but, um, you know, just got the classic Christmas movie, A Christmas Story. Next one is Scrooged, which I haven't watched yet. Just got this one this year at Walmart for five bucks, but there it is. Um, next one is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and I picked this one up at Best Buy with their, uh, you know, new Steelbook and everything as well. And the reason why is because I think the Steelbook actually has a remastered version of this. So I might keep that one and replace, you know, replace that one with this one. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see. But this is the one I have in my collection for now. That's a pretty good movie. And just two more Blu-rays here. Deck the Halls. I don't even know if I've watched this one yet, but I think this is a pretty good movie. So definitely want to check this one out. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it, but I bought it a couple years ago from the Walmart dump bin. And the same goes with Bad Santa. Can't remember if I got this one on Black Friday or if it was a Walmart dump bin purchase as well, but uh, anyways, there it is. That's the last of my Blu-rays. So next we will move on to the DVDs. First one I got here is the Garfield Holiday Celebrations uh, DVD. It says the three uh, specials, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and of course Christmas in here, so that's a pretty cool release. And I also have the more uh, more recent remake, this collector's edition, and uh, I think these ones are remastered compared to this one. The only thing 
is that the Thanksgiving one is a little bit cropped or something is odd about it. So that's why I decided to keep my old one as well. Um, I don't know, but otherwise uh, it's got the same stuff, but it also has a couple different bonus episodes on it. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the, uh, if, if you guys are looking to buy this one, this is probably the one you'll want to look for because it'll be easier to find, I think, and probably cheaper. Uh, anyways, the next one I got is Holidays with Spongebob. It's got three different DVDs in this. Uh, Christmas, Halloween, and To Love a Patty. And of course, we care about the Christmas one. So there it is. That's kind of a cool release. Uh, next up is Mickey's Christmas Carol. I really enjoy the slipcover on this. And um, the back looks nice as well. It's got some cool bonus episodes. The small one, Santa's Workshop, Pluto's Christmas Tree. Uh, this is a pretty cool release. And this is one of my favorites on DVD. Uh, this is Mickey's Magical Christmas snowed in at the House of Mouse. Really enjoy House of Mouse, and I thought they did a, you know, for the most part, a really good job with this movie. I thought it was, I don't know, it's got some cool uh, episodes from the TV series on it. And it also has Mickey's Christmas Carol at the end, which is pretty cool. It's just an overall uh, good Christmas feature to watch. So I really enjoy this. So there's that one, and I also have Recess Christmas. This is a cool one as well. Miracle on 3rd Street. This is kind of, it's almost sort of like a lazy production in a way, because all they did is thread together a few episodes from the series and uh, put a Christmas spin on it. So it's not like, it's not like the whole thing is Christmas themed, it's just the end of it kind of is. Um, but it's still a pretty, you know, a pretty cool feature anyways. Um, so, yeah, there's a look at the back there. Uh, here's another one that I really like. Have yourself a goofy little Christmas. Um, so, yeah, nice artwork on this one. I really enjoy that. And the spine and then the back. And, of course, this is just the Christmas episode of Goof Troop. Um, in the past, they had a VHS release which also had Darkwing Duck, It's a Wonderful Leaf. So it had both of these episodes on one VHS tape. Uh, they released it on two DVDs. This used to be a Disney Movie Club exclusive and then they sold it in stores while uh, this Darkwing Duck, It's a Wonderful Leaf is still a Disney Movie Club exclusive. Though, of course, you don't need to have Disney Movie Club to get this. I think it's on volume two of the, the DuckTales uh, volume releases anyways, so it's not like you need to have this, but... I like to have this one just because I think I paid only like $4 or some really cheap price for it. And plus it's just nice to, you know, if I just want to watch this one episode, I can just, you know, pop this disc in and it's right there. So rather than digging through the volume set just for that one episode, but there is that. So yeah, have yourself a goofy little Christmas and then the Darkwing Duck, It's a Wonderful Leaf. Uh, this next one. I'll Be Home for Christmas, starring John, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. This is a pretty, this is a pretty entertaining one. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it definitely is starting to show some age. Some of the jokes in it seem a little bit, you know, uh, sort of behind the times, I guess, or appropriate for the time that this was made. Uh, I don't know, but I still I really like this one. I'll Be Home for Christmas. That's a cool one. Um, Got the Nicktoons Christmas compilation disc here with four tales of good tidings. Uh, Spongebob Christmas Who, Rugrats, Babies in Toyland, A Rocket Christmas from Rocket Power, Fairly Odd Parents, Christmas Every Day. That's pretty cool. Next up we got Nick Picks Holiday. It's just got seven tales of good tidings as compared to this other one that has four. Um... Finster Who Stole Christmas, Christmas Who, Christmas Every Day, Santa Experience, so a couple doubles from this one, but The Fright Before Christmas, A Robot for All Seasons, and When Santas Collide, so there are some different ones in here as well, which is why I bought this. And then we have the uh, Out of the Vault Christmas from Shout Factory, which includes some Christmas specials, like the Hey Arnold Christmas special is on here, as is Rocco's Modern Life, I think, but there are also few random ones that kind of don't make a whole lot of sense that are only vaguely Christmas themed like shopping in some cases or snow or whatever 
So it's mostly a good release, but they could have done a, bit, a little bit of a better job picking the actual Christmas episodes from the shows, I think. And mysteriously, Wild Thornberries is missing, but... Uh, anyways, next up is Cartoon Network Christmas Rocks. I think, is this Volume 2? I can't remember. Maybe this is Volume 3. There are three, well, actually now four different Cartoon Network re releases. I have this one, and I also have the fourth one up there. I want to get the other ones. I just haven't found them for a cheap price. But, yeah, Cartoon Network Christmas Rocks. Uh, there are the episodes right there. It's got five Christmas-themed one ones and then a few bonus episodes. Next up, we got the Cartoon Network Holiday Collection, which can kind of be considered Volume 4 of the holiday compilations from Cartoon Network. Uh, it's got a few episodes of more modern cartoons as well as a couple bonus ones. There they are. All right, now moving on to the next pile of movies I've got here. We got a whole bunch of compilations here, starting with this 10 Holiday Favorites classic uh, Christmas Favorites 10-pack uh, here in this nice slipcover. It's embossed and everything. It's got The Grinch, Animated, Leprechaun's Christmas, Car or Leprechaun's Christmas Gold, Pinocchio's Christmas, The Stingiest Man in Town, Year Without a Santa Claus, Rudolph Shiny New Year, Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey, Frosty's Winter Wonderland, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. So that's a big pack of movies that I've only watched a couple of them, I think. Next one is The Legend of Frosty the Snowman. This is kind of an interesting one. I don't think very popular uh, remake of Frosty the Snowman. I guess it's a kind of a very different, more sort of modern story, I guess. But uh, it, it's got some in interesting points in it. it. It's kind of an interesting, uh, you know, it's, it's an interesting new take on Frosty the Snowman, I suppose. Um, so there it is. Uh, next one is the Snoopy's Holiday Collection, which has five different uh, episodes. It doesn't have the main Charlie Brown Christmas, it just has some different ones. I Want a Dog for Christmas, Happy New Year Charlie Brown. Uh, there's a bonus feature, Charlie Brown's Christmas Tales, Happiness is Peanuts, Snow Days. Also has Is This Goodbye Charlie Brown. Next up is the Merry Mischief Collection, three holiday movies. And I think that not all of these are even really holiday themed. I think the Tom and Jerry Christmas Pause for a Holiday something. I don't even think it has many Christmas episodes in it at all. I think they're just kind of like a few are snow related or something like that. But anyway, Scooby-Doo, Winter Wonder Dog, and then Bah Humduck, A Looney Tunes Christmas. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next one is a six holiday kids movies collection and with an all dogs Christmas Carol, Christmas Carol the movie, a Pink Panther Christmas, Babes in Toyland, Prancer, and Blizzard, seen all dogs go to heaven, and the Pink Panther one. Can't remember if I've seen any of the other ones, but anyways, I have them, so hopefully I can watch them at some point. This next one is a four kids favorites with a Miser Brothers Christmas, Jack Frost, Flintstones Christmas Carol and Yogi Bear's All-Star Comedy Christmas Caper. There's the back there and the spine. Next is the 20 movie Christmas pack with 10 bonus holiday songs included. Haven't even watched this one yet, but hopefully at some point I will. This was only $5 at Walmart. Next up we got the all-new Christmas classics. Kind of a sort of weird DVD release, I guess. Uh, it's got Gumby and Fat Albert and uh, Georgia the Jungle and Casper. Um, so yeah, just kind of a bunch of random episodes, I guess. But there that is. Next one is The Snowman and the Nuttiest Nutcracker double feature uh, pack right here. So there's the back of that one, and then I actually have a second copy of The Snowman, which also includes The Snowman and The Snow Dog. So, yeah, I have two copies of The Snowman. I think, uh, well, I'm keeping both of them because, you know, the Nuttiest Nutcracker is in this one, and then the Snowman and the Snow Dog is in this one. So, two different copies. Um, this one, I think, is remastered or something. It's definitely in a widescreen format, whereas this one is in full screen. I know that. 
Moving ahead, we got this interesting one as well that I don't watch too often, but new Christmas new Christmas Classics series, and it's got uh, VHS-looking covers on here, even though these are DVDs. It's got Jingle Bells, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, and Oh Christmas Tree. Um, these are kind of interesting titles. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then the next one I haven't even seen yet. I got this at a pawn shop because it was like $2 or something cheap. Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys. There it is. Uh, the next one is All of the Other Reindeer. This is kind of a funny one. Uh, it's by uh, Matt Groening, or Groening, whatever, creator of The Simpsons. Uh, so it's kind of a cool one. It, it, it's sort of it's it sort of has some almost adultish jokes, but this is still definitely a movie that kids can watch. Um, so All of the un Other Reindeer, it's kind of an entertaining one. Next one is A Christmas Carol, which I still haven't watched this one yet. I just got it this year. There it is. How Murray Saved Christmas, haven't seen this one either, but there it is anyways. Uh, the next couple are The Simpsons Christmas. And Simpsons Christmas 2. These are kind of cool uh, DVDs just to kind of pop in. When you're, you know, there's nothing else to watch on TV, just watch these around the holidays. All right, so finally we are on on the uh, last stack here. Definitely, I got a huge collection, but uh, here is a very special Family Guy freaking Christmas with also an American Dad bonus Christmas episode. This has a slim case. Um, there it is, and the next one is. Christmas time in South Park. I picked this up at Walmart many years ago for only like three dollars, so that was really cheap. Uh, a few funny episodes on here. Uh, the next one is the That 70s Show Holiday Edition. This is kind of cool for the holidays. Ten festive episodes. Uh, it doesn't just have Christmas on here. It has Thanksgiving, the first date, which is, you know, kind of... I guess Valentine's themed and then Halloween. So it has those as well, but it also has the Christmas ones. Hyde's Christmas, Rager, and Epic Form in Christmas. And then Christmas and Winter. So yeah, definitely all the Christmas ones are in here. So that's pretty cool. Next one is the uh, Office Secret Santa Pack. This is pretty funny as well. So there it is. Uh, next up, we have the crappier Home Alones, Home Alone 3 on DVD, and you will see that they all kind of have similar uh, artwork on the front, at least, you know, similar design with the big face and then, the, you know, the bad guys kind of in the background there. Uh, yep, you can definitely see that here in Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House. So there it is. And then Home Alone, The Holiday Heist. No bad guys in the back here, just the house. But definitely the same style, kind of, you know, oh my goodness face. Ah, uh, there it is. And, and let's not worry about those Home Alones. They're not all that great. Not, definitely not as good as the first two. But here is a title, Christmas with the Cranks. Really enjoy this one. I'm not sure why this one hasn't seen a Blu-ray release yet. I think that that one would sell fairly well. Christmas with the Cranks is, uh, I don't know, I thought it was a really good Christmas movie um, with uh, Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. This is, this, I really enjoy watching this one, so Christmas with the Cranks. And the next one, next few, I got uh, a couple four film favorites. This one has Richie Rich's Christmas Wish, Jack Frost, Dennis the Menace Christmas, and The Nutcracker. There's that one, and then the uh, next one has Fred Claus, Just Friends, Unaccompanied Minors, and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2. Uh, the next one is Santa Who and A Chance of Snow, double feature. This one is kind of an interesting one that uh, Mill Creek has now, but Santa Who used to be a Disney film. Not sure how Mill Creek somehow got a hold of this. I guess Dis Disney was sick of having it or something. Uh, maybe not up to their standards anymore. I'm not real sure about how that works, but anyways, the next one is the Holiday Family Classics, 39 features and shorts. I've only watched, you know, 
I don't even know if I've watched any of these on here yet, but definitely has a few holiday movies and then 27 Christmas cartoons, plus a bonus virtual fireplace. That's always cool, I guess. Uh, the next one is Arthur's Perfect Christmas. Um, there it is. Not a whole lot to say about this one. Found it at a pawn shop. Uh, the next one is Adventures in Odyssey. Electric Christmas. There it is. So definitely we're getting into the more uh, specifically religious themed Christmas ones, though of course Christmas is a religious holiday anyway, Christian holiday. But these are more, you know, they got, you know, they focus on God and everything. Uh, these Christ more Christian themed ones, uh, especially with the Veggie Tales, Saint Nicholas, A Story of Joyful Giving. Um, it's a pretty good one, I guess. There's a look at the back, and uh, next one up is the uh, the Little Drummer Boy. I do enjoy this one quite a bit. And there's the back of that. Uh, and this is the one I haven't watched yet, Mary, La Mary Larry and the True Light of Christmas. Nice slipcover on it. And there's the back. And definitely a, a religious one here, Christian one. Alabaster's Song, Christmas Through the Eyes of an Angel. This is a title that I watched. Uh, you know, my mom got this one for us for Christmas uh, one year, and we watched it on VHS. Definitely enjoyed watching this. It's a pretty cool, um, cool one. I think it's out of print now, but I think there, you know, you can still find a used copy for relatively cheap, if I remember right. Uh, the next one is Joy to the World Gaither Gospel Series. I'm sure you guys know nothing about this, but uh, just kind of has some good music that I like. So there it is. And same with same goes with these last two actually. Uh, this last one is "Take a White Christmas Home with You," kind of an interesting, kind of odd one, but it just has some Christmas music as well as some, you know, Christmas scenes and everything. There it is. And finally, this is one that I enjoy quite a bit: "Smoky Mountain Christmas" on DVD has some kind. I get you know bluegrass-ish renditions of classic Christmas tunes with Christmas scenes in the background. So this is definitely one that I enjoy quite a bit from Brentwood Records. Um, kind of a more obscure title. You would find this on Christian Book, you know, ChristianBook.com or something if you're looking for this. Um, it has, you know, 10 different Christmas songs played in, you know, Smoky Mountain featuring handcrafted instruments, Mountain Dulcimer, Zether Mandolin, Hammer Dulcimer, dulcimer dobro banjo and guitar and and there's other instruments as well but definitely bluegrassy um sort of mountain music renditions of cl classic Chris christmas songs so definitely enjoy a smoky mountain christmas and with that you guys that ended up being a very long video so i apologize if that was really long for some of you or maybe you really enjoy that uh, my voice is about to crack, so I better end this video. I've been talking a long time showing you all of my Christmas DVDs and Blu-rays. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next video.